Good morning and welcome my friends to another Subi Shades video. It's been a beautiful day. Hashtag Team All Blade and hashtag No Blade Left Behind. I'm gonna say it right here. Subi smiles to all of you and squad goals. Thank you so much for clicking into the shade video and for joining me. Hopefully wherever you're tuning in from today, you've got yourself something cold in your hand and you're sitting in a comfy chair, will it on in and welcome. I'm thrilled to have you here today. Today we're gonna be talking about the brand new razor that Doug just dropped, the Quantum. We've got it already all loaded up and ready for a shave. I'm super excited. This just barely came out. I have been waiting for about four months since the prototype released to get this razor. It is a tribute razor to the Red Ring Eclipse razor produced in Sheffield, England, right? But this is in stainless steel. This has got, uh, or stainless steel brass. It's a, it's a hybrid combo razor where we've got brass and stainless. I think it's very pretty. It's got that traditional open bar, uh, closed bar system, right? It's the hybrid bar. I am really excited. It comes with two different plates here. We've got the um, more aggressive plate setup, but this is the alpha and omega plate system. I'm really, really excited to be shaving with this. I have been waiting for it for a couple days. Now I ordered it and then I haven't shaved. I am on five days and to prove it, I will have a video in the corner here showcasing how much stubble I have five days, 120 hours of no shaving just for everybody here that wants to see how effective this razor is with a more aggressive plate and the quantum safety razor from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. I'm super excited. Again, a razor I have just been waiting for. I'm a big fan of the Red Ring Eclipse. It is a mild razor from the 30s. So I'm excited to see with a little bit more weight and a little bit more heft and the more aggressive base plate, just how efficient is this with some aggressive blades to the max. Let's do it today to Together. I'm stoked. We've got Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, uh, one of my favorite scents here. This is the Doppelganger Gray. This is a very, very famous, right? It's, it's Aventus. It's Aventus. We'll call it what it is. It's a tribute, a homage to Aventus. I love this scent. It's date night. So we're rocking it out with these two. I love these two. And we're going to see how it goes today. I, I want to smell nice, right? And I haven't shaved in so long. Today, the, the, the lather is beautiful. We got it loaded in our PAH Reamscape Scuttle. It's looking solid. It's looking Looking fresh and it is looking slick. What do you think? What do you think? Oh, shiny, absolute goodness. Oh, I'm thrilled. I, like I said, I have not shaved in anticipation for this razor. I did that for you. I want you guys to be able to see, is the razor going to be efficient enough for you? Now, it's common if you Google um, the Red Ring Eclipse razor, what a lot of people have said, a lot of users have said is it's got a fiddly angle to it and it's a very mild razor. And I don't disagree with those things. It definitely has its own specific angle it likes to shave at. And it definitely, definitely likes to shave um, with a sharp blade blade because it is a mild razor. Now, this right here, I don't know. I have no idea, but I'm super excited. Again, I think it's beautiful. It comes in at 110 grams versus the 62 original. You can see it's nice and knurled, whereas this, the Red Ring original is not super knurled. The Red Ring does have the magnet on the bottom, whereas Doug went all, you know, he went for the, the bomber tip or the flare tip. He went for his style version, which I think is fine. I don't really miss the magnet, to be perfectly honest here. Um, it does it does not have the same pins that the Red Ring Eclipse does. If you look at the Red Ring Eclipse top cap, it's got these little pins, whereas Doug actually went with a more traditional bar like, inside the head cap that sits into the base plate, which I actually like a little bit more. I think it's going to secure the blade just a little bit better, just in my opinion. One of the things I want to call out here, it does cover the end tabs. Thank you, Doug, for covering the end tabs with this razor. I really appreciate it. My ears appreciate it. And I don't have to trim off the blade tabs. I'm really excited about that. I really like the razor. I think it's very, very pretty. I think it's extremely well built. Nice, tight tolerances. When we're talking about a safety razor in a modern era, right, what we're looking for is really high quality on the clamping mechanism, high tolerances. And honestly, this fulfills all of them at $89. That's what I paid up for, out the door straight from Doug was $89. I paid for that myself. I, I honestly, I clicked it so fast. My fingers were like a speed dial, right? I, I had, it was like the moment where your wife flips out the credit card. I did that. I had it out. I was ready to go. When I saw this drop, I bought it instantly. I was about three minutes in. And from what I understand, it sold out within about 10 minutes. I had people reach out to me and say about 10 minutes in, it was already gone. They are doing a restock. So if you're interested in this razor, go below in my link. You can get to the store from there and you can find out a little bit more about the razor. I really think it's awesome. Stay tuned. And if you haven't, 
Make sure to sign up for Doug's text messages because that's how I knew about it as fast as I did. I did not get any pre-information about the razor from Doug. I just got the text message that everybody gets, clicked in as fast as I could, bought it. So really cool, really excited to try it out. One of the things I want to mention, again, this is 110 grams, so it's hefty. But what you can do, and I've been doing this with a lot of Doug's razors recently, just take the bomber tip off and I've been shaving like that like this. Now it's not quite as pretty without that end cap being finished. But I like the way it feels. It's a little smaller and it just fits in my hand a little nicer. I don't know why. I like that without the bomber tip style. Just one of the things I've been doing on this side. I, but I honestly, I think together, the full setup right here, really pretty. One thing I want to call out, I just want to mention that is that it, um, in Doug's um, post over on his store, it says it's a polished stainless. I'm going to say it's not super polished. So if you're buying the razor thinking it's going to be polished, this to me is polished. This to me is more of a satin. So you've got like a polished and a satin in combination with all the different razor materials. The other thing I wanted to call out here is you do get both plates in uh, the little box, comes in the little box, but like they're in the bottom. So you just wanna make sure you do, don't throw away the, the extra plate. Really cool. Let's get some swipes in. I have not shaved in so long. I'm fuzzy wuzzy. I'm like a kiwi over here. I need to get rid of my, I could go to a stylist at this point. Let's get rid of it. Super excited. Here we go. First swipe, it's filling smooth. It's filling crisp. Oh man, it's smooth. Now, am I feeling the, the hair coming off my head? A little bit, but nothing like, you know, nothing that I would want, I'd call out at all. No chatter, no issues. Really nice, easy, easy shaver right here. I'm, I'm liking this. This is again with the more aggressive plate all the way to the max, right? With some sharp blades. I'm not having any clogging issues. Never really had clogging issues with the red ring, but we're gonna. I, that is something that I've heard other people mention. Now that was a wrong swipe here. You see this traditional red ring style right here. Look at the wrong swipe. You can see the rake, and then it kind of got correct here. You want to make sure that it's the right angle by getting um, by making sure that you don't have any rake marks. If you don't have rake marks, you're getting the right angle down for the red ring eclipse and for the quantum razor very smooth razor it feels super nice on my skin oh i've needed this and you know honestly for the price and i'm going to mention this because 89 dollars is still steep for a red um for a razor but if you look at the history of the red ring razor the red ring originally you know the, the one from the, the, the 30s the vintage razor right it goes for two, three, four. I the uh, more expensive full sets that I've seen, eight hundred dollars. I saw one to go for eight hundred dollars for a full set with the um, the flyer that come that went with it, eight hundred dollars. So at the eighty nine dollar mark, I'm feeling like this is a an all right deal. I'm feeling pretty good about it. I love the fact that you don't have to try to source one, right? Because getting one on the states is pretty hard. On top of that, here I don't love the concept that. Um, with the original vintage razors that you may get one that's broken or cracked or has issues, right? With this, you're just going to buy it, you're going to shave with it, and it's going to be nice. And I like that. I think that's very, very good. We're going to do a, um, uh, just a kind of a fill here and see how we're doing. Man, that's sweet. It's actually very, very efficient for as smooth as it is. I'm surprised. So the Red Ring razor, the one thing people will mention is, you know, that it's not aggressive enough. Now, the Red Ring's special because you can untighten the bottom of it and adjust the razor, right? It had a micro dial adjustment to get more aggressiveness out of it. Now, there is a cap for how much aggressiveness you can get because eventually it just won't secure the blade anymore. You can see here, take a look. Oh, it is slaying, it is slapping, it is clapping that stubble and I'm loving it. Slippery, smooth, tastic. I am digging this. I am loving every second of getting rid of all of this stubble on my head and am enjoying the actual process here. It feels so nice so smooth and again i'm doing this because a lot of people have uh, worried that this razor would be too mild for them this razor is mild it definitely shaves with that vintage angle i do want to call that out again it does shave with that same red ring angle but for me because it shaves so much like the red ring i'm getting an awesome shave because it's a razor i know really smooth it feels so nice i am digging this as far as the first pass goes, I would say this is definitely like a medium um, efficient razor, not a super, super efficient razor, and a very, very smooth, mild on the skin. So you got a mild, uh, a medium efficiency is what I'd say, with a mild skin fill, even with the max uh, blade um, tray, the base plate. But take a look, smooth and 
freaking awesome. I am loving this. As a tribute, and not only just as a tribute, but as a, as a standard razor, right? I love that Doug does that. I love that he goes through history, finds razors that he thinks that are cool, that are a little bit more um, obscure, and then kind of brings them back, modernizes them, and makes improvements on them so that they are not only better than the original, right, but they're going to last. I love that this is stainless steel. I think it's very nice and stainless. One of my problems with the Red Ring Eclipse is that because the razor operates off of a tube, I'll I'll show that in a, like a, a picture here. It has a tube, right? Right. The whole entire assembly mechanism is inside of here. And if you get you know water in there and stuff, it's really hard to dry out. I like that this is just a modern razor. You don't have to worry about you know making sure it stays clean and um, stays nice for the the ages. I love this. It's almost like you can shave with your red ring without ever having any worries that it's going to degrade. I think that's absolutely awesome. I've loved the red ring razor. I have done videos a bunch of times on the red ring razor. The um, red, uh, the eclipse razor for me was always a really cool piece of history from England. And now we've got it on our side in a modern adaption. Thanks to Doug. Again, huge shout out to Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement. Again, you can get that below in my in the description below. But honestly, wow. Coming from five days, 120 hours. We wiped it down that fast, that easy. I really thought it was going to be a lot more. I've had a lot of razors where I try to shave with that kind of growth. And it just kind of, they have issues. I feel really tuggy. I, don't, I have a hard time getting a, um, that much stubble down in one pass, two passes, where it takes, you know, four passes and it takes a lot of time. This has not been that way. It's been phenomenal. It's extra smooth, really crisp. You know, the Art Deco design was just an absolutely fantastic, in my opinion, if I were to see the Red Ring Razor stacked up next to like a single ring, you know what I mean? I think the Art Deco design of the Red Ring was just really pretty, really unique. I would have been a person in the storefront that was like, let me see that one. I really like that. I like this, you know, as far as when you set it next to a Gillette vintage razor, because it looks so unique. And this right here, it shaves super elegantly, really nice. I'm being very cognizant not to overshave on areas because I can feel that this definitely has some kick to it as far as like, you know, it will cause irritation with too much buffing. Yeah, really smooth, very comfortable, very nice. Honestly, I am shocked. I love this. This is one absolutely that's staying. I will not be moving this one on. And I think it's absolutely worth the $89, if, especially if you're a fan of the original or you own the original, right? But you want a little bit more from it. I think this actually has, I have it all the way tightened down. I could open it up a bit. I think this actually has potential to shave closer than the original red ring for me faster now the red ring is an exceptionally um, close shaver that does not produce any irritation for me but i have to make sure to go at the right angle the entire time this feels like i don't have to be at that same perfect i have a little bit more fiddliness just a little bit not a ton this still has that right angle to it but wow just doing a little bit of cleanup here just a little bit of cleanup that is five days five days down absolutely awesome charms this is a bowl of the mollows if you ask me freaking awesome really love this thing yes i've waited for days to get this one i'm really excited to have had the chance to got, um, get it before it was sold out and what a shave are you guys seeing this i am so happy that was awesome it was phenomenal absolutely skittle tastic if you ask me this is what wet shaving is all about taking a single blade Sticking it in there, going to town on a lot of growth, and getting that BBS smooth shave with zero effort, right? It took very little effort, took very little skill, and honestly, we had a great time doing it. What an awesome piece of um, history that's been immortalized in stainless steel. Now, again, I do wish this was a little bit more polished. I think it does look cool. I won't lie. The whole fit, the whole way the razor like looks and stands out, it is a banger. I think it really just like it begs to be used. I love this. I love well, when I set it out next to the rest of my collection, I was like, that's really a standout piece. Very, very cool. Very pretty. And huge shout out again to Doug for making the Red Ring Razor uh, actually attainable for people in a modern era without having to source a vintage razor. Really? <laughs> I can't stop rubbing my head. I can't stop. I'm like, all oh, the five days is gone. That was, I look like me again. Now, what a shave. What an awesome fan freaking test. Listen, 
still <laughs> yes squeaky clean shave really enjoyed it if you're a person that you know really wants to try out a red ring razor doesn't want to source one i'm going to say it again awesome price for a beautifully built well engineered really tight tolerance razor i'm stoked and you can use any handle you want right say you don't want to use this handle you just swap it out oh what a cool razor i'm thrilled thank you again for joining me for this shave we're gonna grab a little splash here we're gonna enjoy it oh we're gonna check out and see if we have any weepers or problems i don't have any razor burn i don't have any issues at all and i'm telling you it was not a lot of effort at all to take down five days of growth yes we're splashing it on throwing it on here oh wow beautiful elegant excellent absolutely luxury item that shaves as good as it looks in my opinion here my opinion really really beautiful thank you again for stopping by for watching it and for enjoying the review if you haven't already please go below smash that sub button let's keep this party going ah it's been awesome to talk to you guys i'll catch you in the next subi shaves video i'm gonna get out and enjoy a perfectly crisp beautiful bbs shave thanks so much for joining me subi out